I am an academic scholar at BISB, and I, I'm just mostly into academic. I'm not really a sports person. I'm not part of any sports team, so I'm just academic person here. One thing is like my passion and me being academic, it's a little bit unbelievable because I like anime, I like mangas, manhwas, I like dance, I like K-pop, I like so many like things that do not involve academics. And then I'm here and like I love math, I love physics, but like what I do when I'm alone, it has nothing to do with academics. I'm not the kind of person that like I can. Philosophy is really nice. I love that. But I mostly spend my time watching anime or reading mangas and manhwas, enjoying myself, doing that alone in my room, not having to socialize, than being that person that just, oh my god, math. Math is fun. Eh? <laughs> math is fun, but <laughs> that's not what I'll do. I think I'm, I'm like a very organized person. I hate, I absolutely hate when I let my free time like eat up my academic time. So when I'm into academics, when I'm in the academic zone, I know I'm studying things like physics, different laws that I think interest me in the academic aspect. Like it mustn't necessarily be what I'm learning in class, just like the current Nobel Prize winner, just look at, oh, what did he, what did he talk about? What did he do in physics? It's just things like that that interest me when I'm in the academic zone and only when I'm in the academic zone. If I'm not in that zone and someone comes up to me, hey, Destiny, you know this in physics? I'm like, hmm, I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything. But when I'm in that academic zone, I'm like, yes, I'm very focused. But apart from that, I'm just a normal person, love Formula One racing, really shouting at my screen, go Charles Leclerc, no, Max, no, ah. <laughs> so yeah. It's a really funny story how I actually wrote the IGCSEs because people didn't write like much subjects in Nigeria where I was from. Most people were like seven subjects and then me as a 14 year old that time went up to my principal and I was like, ah, I think I want to take 10 subjects. And then everybody was like, you want to take 10? Because I was the smallest in the class. And they were like, you want to take 10 subjects? And I'm like, yeah, I think I want to take 10 subjects in IGCSEs. And then I was the only one that wrote computer science. So I had to teach myself Python because nobody else was in the class. And in the exam hall, it was just me and a bunch of chess. It was so crazy. But after the IGCSE exams, when the results came out in February, because I wrote October, November, when it came out in February and I did really well. Everyone was like, you were Destiny? God, Destiny? Oh, Destiny? And like, because of my age, and most people didn't believe that it was possible for me to do well in IGCSEs because I was small. And I'm not really an extrovert then. I was mostly like by myself. So people doubted me. And then when my results came out, they were like, Destiny, she, she did so well. And then my principal came up to me and was like that <clears throat> I should try applying for some schools. And then I realized that I didn't want to go into university straight because in Nigeria we write a West African exam after IGCSEs. I wrote that. Most of my friends are in universities right now, but some of us are either taking foundation programs or doing A-levels. So I was part of these people that decided I don't want to jump straight into university right now. I want to try A-levels or IB and see like how well I can do it. it's like a process so I ended up just searching for schools and BISP came up in one website so I just applied and they responded and the admission process was really easy I was so surprised it was so fast it's like you respond today and I know they're like six hours ahead and like before you go to bed they've responded it was so nice so I was convinced <laughs> I should come here plus their programs were like so awesome the extracurriculars and the academics, it was just mind blowing on the website. So I just, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm going to come to BISP. <laughs> Computer science at BISP, we're learning Java right now. And we've got this task where we're supposed to make a sweet shop online. And it's something that I'll sit down and think about normal procedures. Like what, what should an online shop look like? and then just write it down and it's so crazy to see yourself turn it into a code and it actually work. It's like the best feeling ever because sometimes 
if you miss like a semicolon it's so frustrating trying to find it and then you're like what is wrong with this and when it finally works it's so relieving i feel so happy i love it so much it's stressful but when it works this is like, I'm on top of the world. Nobody can beat that. You want to try me? I just did this. So it's like, it makes me really happy. It's like, yay, I accomplished something. For university, I'm not really like hammering on one place. When that time comes, I'll just try my best now in IB the first year. When the next year comes and we have to apply, I'll apply to us many as I can, like as many as I can possibly apply to. I apply and then when the results come in, when I see which schools I get accepted, waitlisted, denied, I'm just gonna sit down and like think about that in the last month. But for now, I'm just going with the flow. When that time comes, I'll decide what university I want to go to. Because I don't want to have my hopes too high or have my hopes too low. So I just want to watch my uh, process in the school right now, watch my success, my achievements, my failures, and then I'll decide what university I think at that point will be better for me. When I came to Phuket, I don't know what I expected the boarding to be like, but it is so much better than anything I could have expected, honestly, because it's like a home. It's really like a home. The house parents are so cool because Sometimes I, I talk a lot for an introvert. Sometimes I, I talk a lot. So I just go meet them every night and I'm having a conversation with them and they're keeping up with me. They don't look at me like they're annoyed with me or I should leave them alone. They actually like pay attention to what I'm saying. So it's pretty cool. Plus I'm alone in my room. That's super nice. I don't know. I like the single room thing. And everyone is so nice. Like it's unbelievable. Everybody in the boarding house is so nice. I know when I first came here, that's what I kept saying. I'm like, how is everybody this nice? This is not possible. What is going on? Am I dreaming? Everyone is just so nice. Like, it doesn't matter where you're from, who you are, what class you're in, blah, blah, blah. Everyone is just so nice. Yeah. <laughs> there are two staff members that have like really helped me and transitioning in BISV. The first person is Mr. Perkins. He is so nice. He was the one that was in charge of my admission. So when I got here, he made sure that I felt comfortable. He kept asking, are you sure you're okay? Is that something you need? Is that something you want? Just to make sure that me as a person, just one person in this big school is comfortable. That made me feel really good. And then the next person is the university counselor, Ms. Beltsford. Like, she has helped me make so many connections about university. And like, recently, I talked to an MIT AI student yesterday. It was so nice. She got me his contact and then he helped me. Like, he gave me some projects he thinks I should work on in high school to help me, like, apply to MIT if that's what I'm interested in at the end of the day. So they've been really nice to me. I'm really grateful for both of them. And there are lots of other people that have helped me, but I can't stop mentioning everybody. Everyone, every staff member, my teachers, they're so nice. It's so awesome, honestly. <laughs> we had a year 12 retreat, and then a lot of things happened to me. Like, I had so many embarrassing moments. Like, if it was gonna be rated, you know, when you're like checking your screen time and then there's a peak, yeah. BISP retreat is like, whoa, <laughs> of my embarrassing moments because we were playing a game. I slipped and fell. <laughs> I jumped into the pool and my hair got messed up. I had, it was so much fun there. Like when I was doing it, it was so fun. And then later I just sit down and think about, I did this. I did this. Oh my God. I, I felt so embarrassed, but honestly, the retreat was like a nice bonding experience with some people that I never thought I'd be friends with. So as a new student, obviously the old, older students have like more connections and bonds. But then the retreat made me feel like I actually belong here. We had so much fun together. Like very, I felt very accepted at that point, yeah. I, I wouldn't even feel like I'm a new student. I feel like I've been with these guys for years, but I just, I've been with them for a month. <laughs> so the retreat was really nice. It was really, I'm really grateful for the retreat because it helped me like talk to more people because normally 
I just sit by myself. I'm not gonna go socialize, make friends like, hi, I'm Destiny, hi, I'm Destiny. No, I just sit down and not talk to anybody. But the retreat is like pushing me because I had roommate, I was roommates with people that I don't talk to. Like they're not in my friend group because the friend group are just basically us new students. So, but at the retreat, after the retreat, I like became so close with them. It was so crazy. Like now we see each other and be like, oh, hey, Destiny, hey. And it's so cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Coming to BIS definitely made me a better person as a whole. Like, I know it's not too good because back in my home country, I was really introverted. Like, it was crazy. No one knew about me. I don't really talk. The only thing that made people notice me was my IGCSE. So, I think it's taught me that there are some times you've got to socialize, other times you've got to just keep quiet. And then every subject I take, it has been really tasking and it's fun actually but it's really tasking the classes physics are really fun but then when we have quizzes you know that okay you're supposed to know this it's all fun and games but you should know this and it's helped me realize so much about myself and then the TOK classes have helped me think about a lot of things that normally I, if I think about them, I just ignore them but now I actually think about them and like analyze those things like why do we exist I actually analyze them for myself and other subjects computer science has been great I love it so much honestly because things that I thought would be so hard I can do them by myself now and like feel really proud about it it's so cool <laughs> advice to prospective students from destiny <laughs> so uh, you should definitely come to BISP. <laughs> That's gonna be my first sentence because BISP is great. Like, if you think you can swim, we have a swim team. If you can play football, we've got football, basketball, any sport, we've got it. Muay Thai, I do boxing. <laughs> so, we've got everything here, and the academics are so good. Like, it's really tasking. It's not too easy. Trust me, it's not too easy. But it's it's fun it's fun it's not too easy it's not too hard but it's really tasking it's not for the week <laughs> but bi suite is so cool it's so fun like everyone is so friendly here like i'd come to school and feel weird because i'm a black the only nigerian and then i'd be like oh my god people are gonna look at me weird and then everyone's like oh my god i love your hair and i'm like ah thank you <laughs> so bi suite is basically so fun it's so nice you should definitely come <laughs>